Good morning. This is Brer Caleb, PhD. And my PhD stands for post hole digger. When I talk about post hole digger, that means I continue to work on the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. Yes, folks, I earned my degree in the Desert University. Maybe you are familiar with the term, we are not from this kingdom. See, the kingdom that I expect is a complete different kingdom than we are here on this world working on. It seems that everything we do has to do with money control. Right now, there is a search for a, a supreme justice. She is not even in the ground, and they are fighting over her. When we have leaders setting an example so poorly that all they count is, if you are not my buddy, you're my enemy, we are dealing in a complete different setting. Our kingdom, my father, where does he come from? Who is my father? Abba. Abba. Our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy will be done, your will be done on earth as it is here on heaven, as in heaven. His will is done in heaven, but his will is not yet done here on earth. And you see, that is what God is expecting us for. He expects us, when I say us, those that are from that other kingdom. That doesn't mean that you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Buddhist or somebody that is following some kind of a religion or any kind of religion for that matter. But it is only those that are following the rules that God had set out. And God's rule is to act through love, act through faith, guided by his spirit. So the moment I have to kill or injure or hit someone or put them in jail because they are not doing what I, the opposing party, the ruling party, have said or want them to do, then I am not dealing according the kingdom of God. The rules of the kingdom of God, my friend, is not, oh, I accept Jesus and therefore I have a right to be with the Father. The Father said, I will recognize them through the love that is among them. How much love do you have for your Arab neighbor? How much love do you have for your Buddhist friends? How much love do we have for the gay person? How much love do I have for my spouse or my children? Folks, we are living in a society where we are so in touch through our apps. All we're doing the whole day is looking at our watch, which is our little computer, which is our telephone and we are controlled by it. The moment we are kicked out, out of Facebook because we said something wrong, but the hookers, they are allowed to come in and do whatever they say. But if you have an opinion that is opposite of what the main group says, you are locked out. But if you're hooking, that is fine. Who sets those rules? Are those the rules of the kingdom of God? I have a opinion, folks, and my opinion is important to me, but it does not matter to you. I understand that, but I can share something. The love of God has changed me, and as much as my, my opinion is so important to me, to God it means only are you following the way. The way was set as a reconnecting with God Almighty. Am I reconnected with God when I hit my friend, when I hit my enemy, when I steal and rob, and I am the richest person in the world because look, I robbed all those people from their little bit of money? Or am I recognized by the Father? He said, well done, you good and faithful servant. Folks, let's stop for a moment. This red race is so ridiculous. 
Mr. Trump, would you please stop for a moment being the great whatever brain? You are so smart that your brain is going to the left side, like in the old movies. But the reality, does it really matter how smart you are? If you cannot see the path of God, the path of love, the path of humility, the path that follows through a deep valley, but he's there to help and support us. He loves us all, including Mr. Trump. But folks, I must admit, I'm working on it. And that is why I wrote the book, PMS, Deception Protocol. PMS stands for politics, money, and spirituality. Those are three spirits that are confusing the whole world because most of us don't even realize that we're taken by the nose. If we take a step back and seek the presence of the Lord, we will come to an understanding that the peace of God is still possible. Although we live in this world, all the hype about how much the stock market is doing today and what who is going to be rich tomorrow morning. I am rich, whether I have money or I have no money. And I tell you, my friends, I have been not on the million dollar side, but on the billion dollar side. And I've been on the minus 500 bucks side. I know what I'm talking about. I had to learn to trust the Lord with all my heart and do not lean on your own understanding. This is something I really love to share with you. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our Forgive us. Can you forgive yourself? Like we forgive our debtors? And do not leave us. Father, do not leave us. Please, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all his other things shall be added unto you because that is the path of the righteousness, the way, the truth, and the life. When we follow the way, we will find the truth and we will have life. This is Brad Caleb, PhD. And again, tough times never last. Tough people do. And if you are honest with yourself today, you will know that today is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. God bless you. Bye for now. I hope that you are a survivor. That you know that you still can make that decision. Or do you keep the back channels open in the hope to stave off disaster? Try to be a little bit on this side and a little bit on that side. But you know, God created all men and gave us women. He also gave us brains to understand them. And it's called patience. As I mentioned before, everyone knows. If a person has no faith, he has no patience. If we know the logic in taking control of biohacking, that means you will take control over your health and over your spirit. We can succeed. So let the past go. Otherwise, it can hinder you in the future when it counts. Folks, God loves you. So do I. God bless you. Bye for now.